Welcome everyone to RM World Coins. Hopefully I'm finding you well and, and good health. Um, and thank you for watching my many videos and hopefully you're picking up some good information on coins from around the world and the US. Uh, it's been a while since my last video, so I'm trying to catch up and at least put at least 10 videos uh, back to back up on YouTube. So hopefully you'll you know pick up some good information and uh, you know get some uh, ideas of what coins to purchase uh, as a beginner, intermediate, or advanced collector. Uh, trying to get the best coins for you at a reasonable price so your investment can continue to grow in value. Uh, dead money is dead money, so if you buy coins that will not appreciate, you're just wasting your time. And of course, when it's time to sell, you know, a lot of collectors, dealers will try to avoid those coins. So uh, don't put your coins in dead money, okay? Buy coins that are uh, always in great demand, good appeal, and of course, scarce. So you will have collectors always seeking for those coins. It's important that there is a demand for the coins that you're buying. Uh, I understand that you like to collect coins. And of course you want to collect what you want to collect. But sometimes when you collect coins, especially if it's a promoted coin, uh, you will not get back the money you have invest, invested. And of course that would be a waste of your time, waste of your resource as far as funds. And of course, uh, when you do try to sell it, uh, hoping that you'll get a good return on your investment, it ends up uh, not a good experience as far as selling, okay? And as a collector, you want to, you know, uh, enjoy the collection and then, of course, appreciate what you have. And of course, uh, you know, when you do sell it, the dealers and other collectors will also appreciate the collection that have you have timelessly acquired for all the years that you have been working on it, okay? Don't let your efforts uh, of collecting for many, many years go down the drain because you didn't collect the right coins. Uh, if you enjoy collecting coins and you're happy collecting coins, uh, even though if it's not scarce or rare or it's promoted, if you're happy with it and you got a lot of money, and that's not a problem, okay? But if your goal is to collect good coins and, and they are an investment coins, uh, then you have to think about what type of coins you're going to get. And of course, you know, you have to do a little bit of research on your end and do your due diligence to be sure that these coins will appreciate in value. Okay. Uh, a lot of collectors, of course, they want to be sure that, you know, if they collect a coin uh, today, five, ten years down the road, you know, hopefully it will double in value. Okay. And of course, when they do retire, they can present it to their family, uh, to their grandkids as an inher inheritance, or they can liquidate for the retirement. And of course, they'll see their value increase three or four or five folds. Okay, so choose wisely, take your time, be sure you're spending your money wisely and getting the appropriate coins, okay? Uh, so today what we have is uh, a few coins that I picked up. These are very nice coins. Uh, a lot of them are common, some are rare. And so we're gonna go through a few of these coins individually and, um, and I'll tell you why I bought them, okay? I mean, some are affordable, so if you're a beginner collector, definitely you should uh, you know, acquire these coins. So they're very nice coins. Uh, the first coin we're gonna go through is this South Rhodesia coin. Now, this one here is a 1932 half crown. Note that it is a proof 65. So this is a very high grade certified by PCGS. And this is a proof version. So this coin is a specially struck coin, double struck with mirror fields. Okay, but this one here is original. It has subtoning. Noted that proofs are special coins struck for specifically for collectors. And normally these came in sets from the half crown to uh, the three pence, okay? So uh, trying to acquire the set, that uh, will take time. If you get the whole set, then we're talking about a complete set with the case, original case, sometimes will cost you a couple thousand dollars, okay? Especially if they're high grade in proof 65 or better. Normally if you get impaired proof, 
Uh, just be sure you're not getting too much of an impaired proof. You want to at least be sure that uh, the grade should be at least a 62 or better. When it gets down to 61, 60, sometimes they're either conservatively graded, which is fine, but if they have too much distraction, uh, then maybe you can avoid those and wait for the right coins to come up. So this coin is a very nice coin. Uh, highly collected because they only made uh, around 364 coins or actually 364 sets. So this is probably one of the broken up sets. So this coin is a very nice proof. Original toning has all the high points, mirror fields. So definitely a very nice half crown. And of course the half crown being a larger coin definitely is more in demand than the smaller minor coins. So this one definitely is a very nice high grade proof 1932 half crown. Look on the reverse, very nice shield. These are very nice struck coin, no problem. So this one here, something that maybe if you do collect coins from South Rhodesia, this is something maybe that you want to look at and add to your collection. If you come across the three pence, six pence, shilling, florin, and this half crown. Okay, beautiful set, rare coin, less than 300, actually I would say it's rounded off less than 400 coins available. And many of them have been impaired because many have been handled badly. They will have bad toning, hairlines, fingerprints. Those are the things that you want to avoid, okay, or cleaned. So get one that is nice, original, and add that to your collection. This one will continue to increase in value as time goes on. A very nice coin, highly desirable. Definitely a coin that you want to add to your collection. Uh, next one we have is a very popular Canada dollar. This is a 1936. Noted that with all the early dollars from Canada, the 1936 is a very popular coin, especially this particular design with George V. Uh, this, this, the coin started in 1935, uh, which is also very nice. It goes to basically up to 1967. So that whole collection may take time to collect. But uh, let's talk about the 36. Uh, the 36 is a very popular year, highly sought up uh, by collectors. And of course, the 63 grade by PCGS is very nice. The coin is boldly struck, clean fields, has some minor contacts, uh, definitely highly in demand. And of course, this coin here is around maybe a couple hundred dollars in this particular grade. And you can get it probably a hundred and maybe just a regular BU. But when you hit uh, MS6465, uh, then we're looking at a $500 coin. And when you jump to an MS66, then we're talking about a couple of thousand dollar coin. So this coin is highly desirable. Of course, you know, collectors are looking at this particular coin in MS66 or 67, which is extremely hard to find. I myself have been looking for it in at least a 65 plus and I can't find it or I have to pay too much for it. And of course, the object of collecting is of course get the right coin at the right price and not pay full retail for the coin. But right now, this particular coin in MS66 is over $2,000. And sometimes the coin is badly toned. So be worried about getting those badly toned coins and paying really high price for an MS66 because later on, when you decide to sell it, and it doesn't matter if it's MS66, it would be hard to liquidate because there is no appeal on the coin. So again, be careful. If it's too badly toned and you can't see the detail, avoid it. Find one that is in this particular appeal 
and it's in 66, then it'd be worth at least a couple thousand dollars. Now, if you can't afford a couple of thousand, get a 64 or a 65 between the three to $500 range. This one here, again, is around 250, affordable. So if you like uh, MS63 grade, definitely continue to buy these coins in this grade. And these coins will definitely continue to appreciate in value even at, at this particular grade. Look at the back. So you get the canoe and the Indian. It's called the Voyager. And of course, this one here is also very nice. Definitely, when you look at the coin, they are struck differently. Some are weakly struck. Be sure the center has very good detail. You got the horizontal lines in the canoe going across, and you got the two bags there in front. And normally, you should you should see the HB uh, for Hudson Bay, and of course, good detail on uh, the Frontiersman and the engine and the Indian. And of course, you got nice full luster on the coin. Very hard coin to find, but be worried that there are coins with weak strike. And be sure you have a very nice coin that is pretty close to full strike on the 1936. Uh, if you get anything that is softly struck, it's gonna be difficult to sell in the future. Okay, because sometimes dealers or collector thinks that maybe that is where on the coin. So to avoid these issues with any future collectors or dealer, find one that is fully struck. Very nice date, highly in demand for the 1936. I came across this particular coin, a U.S. Morgan dollar, uh, 1883 CC, graded NGC 63. And of course, uh, the Carson City dollars are getting harder and harder uh, to acquire in, you know, high grades. So this was a 65, we're talking about a thousand dollar coin. And of course, if it was a big, you know, proof like on the coin, and we're talking about more money. This one to me is a nice MS63 by NGC. And of course, as you rotate the field, you know, there is a semi-proof-like field on the coin. Uh, the face is very nice. It's nice and luster. So there is a, a contrast difference between the, the device and the background. So this is a very nice 1883 Carson City coin. Uh, to me, uh, it only has some minor marks on the cheek. The fields are exceptionally very clean. So this is a very nice coin. I picked it up pretty reasonably, uh, maybe a couple of hundred dollars on this particular coin. So when you find these coins in MS63, and it seems to be a pretty decent strike with minimum contacts, uh, and of course, if it has some nice proof-like or semi-proof-like field, maybe that's something that you want to, you know, acquire. Uh, these coins normally, especially this, the Carson City coins, will continue to increase in value and definitely are good investment for the future. Let's take a look at the back. The back definitely is premium coin it's almost like a cameo so it's got a big difference contrast between the background and the foreground design nice frosty luster on the device good full breast on the eagle nice white design on the detail uh, the fields almost are mirror like so it is a looks like a proof like for this reverse on this particular one so if you can find the 1882, 83, or 84 in similar condition as this. And you can pick them up between two to three hundred dollars. Maybe that's something that you want to do because as the market continues to increase in value and the supply uh, is getting lower and the demand continues to increase, definitely these coins will continue to increase in value. 
If this was an MS-65 proof like or D mirror proof like, then we're talking about a couple of thousand dollars. But I'm pretty sure if you bought one today at a couple of thousand dollars, maybe five years from now, they could be four to five thousand dollars. Okay, so your money will be definitely working for you because the demand will continue to go up because the supply is getting lower and lower. And of course, there's more collectors now than ever due to COVID-19. Uh, there's more collectors that stayed at home. And of course, they started getting into or getting back into their hobby of collecting coins. So the market is very nice, but try to get the, at the bottom of the value of these coins so you can see a nice increase in value. So again, this one here, I got very reasonable. And of course, I'll just put it aside. If I sell it, great. If not, it'll continue to increase in value. I'm not gonna be hurting in any way on this particular coin. Uh, next one we have is a nice 1921 Morgan dollar. This is certified ICG MS65. And this one I picked up for maybe $150. And these are nice coins. And of course, you wanna buy the coin, not the holder. So you wanna be sure that the coin is very nice in its appeal. Uh, of course, full luster, sharp strike. And of course, you wanna be sure that it has no distracting, and of course, this one is very nice. Normally, you'll see the first issue, the problem with these coins is the face. It's gonna have a lot of bag marks, so avoid those coins, um, because 1921 is plentiful. You can pick up some really nice one for around $100, $150. That's something maybe you wanna consider adding if you are a beginner collector or intermediate, okay? Uh, between the dates, the 1921, Philadelphia, which is what this is, the Denver and the San Francisco. Of course, the rarest one is the San Francisco, which is extremely hard to find in 65 or better. Uh, the other one is the 1921D, which is the only Denver mint mark coin for the Morgan dollar. And of course, if you're able to, if you're able to find this particular dates in proof-like mirror fields, definitely you're talking about coins that are about five to 10 times more than the value of a regular brilliant uncirculated coin. Again, very nice coin to acquire, especially if you're able to find one in proof like. Let's look at the reverse. Again, the reverse is very nice. Normally you will see the wreath on the right, weakly struck, common characteristic for the 1921, but a full bloom, full luster coin sharp strike detail all over, all around, definitely is what you wanna get. And of course, this is the Philadelphia. It does not have a mint mark above between the D and the O of dollar, okay? So a very nice coin, nice full luster, a very nice addition to your collection. Next one we got, is a very nice piece dollar. Uh, this is a 1923 certified ICGS. This is a common piece dollar, high mintage, 1923, 1922 uh, is the two coins or the two particular years that have high mintages. And so uh, 1923 or 1922 also, if you can pick these coins up for like a hundred or so dollars, definitely maybe that's something that you should put away especially if they're in this nice condition with full clean face, nice high defined hair, okay? Except you're clean and nicely struck coin. Definitely a nice coin without any big issues. A minor hit or there is not a problem. Uh, this again is graded 65 by ICG, but overall a very nice coin. So if you can if they come this nice, definitely something that maybe you want to consider adding to your collection. On the reverse, very nice eagle. 
Definitely nice feathers on the coin. Exceptionally clean from any bag marks. For very nice appeal. So acquire this coin in this nice condition. Certified if possible because it's, it's you know, better to get the coin certified. If it's already certified, great. If not, get it certified. But this is something that you want to acquire while you can afford it. Pick up one or two. These are good examples that also you can utilize when you do when you do buy raw coins. You can use these coins to compare raw coins and see if your selection on raw coins are similar in grades and condition. And then you can get those coins certified. But this is a very nice coin to add to your collection. Last one we have is a very nice coin that I picked up at a reasonable price. Uh, this is a Germany 1927 A. A is for uh, the um, mint that it was struck from. There's about six different mints that it can struck coins from Germany. And this come from the mint mark with A. This is a nice German five mark from Bremer Haven. And this is certified by NGC as MS65. Uh, these coins, you know, five years, 10 years ago, would be only a couple of hundred dollars. And now these coins in MS65 are going for 15 to $2,000. So they are good investments, especially in high grade. Uh, pick them up with uh, as brilliant as you can possible. Uh, this coin probably has a very low mintage and on, not very many are in MS65 grade. Uh, 66 or 67 definitely gets a little bit harder to acquire and you'll be paying a little higher price. This is a very popular one year type coin, low mintage. It's a beautiful series that you can collect from Germany during the Weimar uh, time period. And of course, uh, this is a very nice coin uh, with the ship. And very nice detail, full luster, sharply struck. Take a look at the reverse. Very nice shield, again, full luster. The eagle has very nice detail on the breast and exceptionally very clean from any field contacts. So very nice appeal overall on this particular coin. Particular coin. Low mintage, highly in demand, one year type, and of course, definitely will continue to increase in value. So there you go. You got six very nice coins. Some are extremely rare. Some are very common. Uh, these are very good investments or just to have samples of. Uh, these will continue to increase in value. Definitely, of course, some of them are going to be harder to find, just, just like the proof on the South Rhodesia coin would be very difficult to locate. And, of course, finding one on the Germany piece also in high grades. And, of course, they will continue to increase in value. Well, hopefully, the, this six coins will at least give you some ideas of coins that you want to collect and of course these are all very nice coins these coins will continue to increase in value and of course you know with my years of experience in buying and selling these coins i have never lost money on buying these coins they definitely have a good track record in increasing its value okay a good hold for five to ten years definitely you'll have a good return on your investment uh, be sure to shop around for the best price. But be sure you have a very nice appeal on the coin. And of course, uh, put these coins away. And you know, when it's time for you to sell, definitely you'll have a very good demand for these coins by either dealers or collectors. Well, hopefully this info helps you out. If you like the information, by all means, subscribe to my channel. And, uh, you know, if you have any comments, uh, please, uh, questions, go ahead and send that to me and I'll answer them as best I can. Uh, go ahead and ring the bell and share the information with other collectors. Till next time, you have a great day.